Wrestling fans from El Bar School Gymnasium, Mansfield, Ohio, this is DMK Productions telecast of ASWA Spring Sting 2015 as we celebrate the one year anniversary of DMK Productions Association with the American States Wrestling Alliance. This is Hank Hudson at ringside along with my special guest color commentator, the undefeated sweet dream, Sless Taylor. Right, and the pleasure is all yours. <laughs> well, speaking of the one year anniversary of the ASWA with DMK Productions, one year and six days ago today, you defeated uh, the American Gaijin Takahashi on the match that day. I did, I did. I, you know, I don't understand why he's white. I don't understand why is he white. That's that's my whole big concern with this guy right now. Well, he's often introduced as the American Gaijin. I, I thought he was uh, Japanese before, but Cody White. I have no idea. I don't know any Japanese. <laughs> I, I think I'm included, actually. That's to me. Unfortunately for Takahashi, since uh, DMK Productions has been telecasting the ASWA matches, he hasn't won a match as of yet, but he's getting closer and closer each and every show. So what he is, is he's kind of like the opposite of me, because I won every match. Well, so far that's true, but on the last show, uh, he had his best showing to date, Takahashi. He really took uh, Hurricane Kenny Hendricks to the limit, and he barely got uh, edged out with a uh, small package cradle. Wow, that was actually pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to give it to him on that. That was actually pretty cool. Oh, wow. Well, Takahashi has this thing. He has this thing they call the buzzsaw kick. He tried it on you uh, in your match one year ago. You were fast enough to get out of the way, but uh, as strong and big as Jeff Cannon is, he doesn't have mu that much mobility. He might be a sitting duck for that buzzsaw kick. He's got a good, strong head, though, I'll be honest. Jeff Cannon does have a very good, strong head. He can take that kick on the Wow, that had to hurt, I'm telling you. I've never faced Jeff, but look at him. The man's an animal. Just, can you see that? Look at him. Ooh. Well, I've known him for over 15 years. He's big and he's tough and he's mean. Takahashi with his mobility there. I think he was trying to reverse leg Nelson. He couldn't get it around him, but he still took him down very cleanly. There's those high flying and spinning kicks. you're talking about. See, Jeff does have some mobility. Not a bunch. Oh, look at the strength now. Look at that strength. Oh! It's over. Oh, he planted him good with that one. It's got to be over. Come on, Jeff. Go for the pin. It's over. Oh. Not quite yet. Takahashi still looking for his first win since the ASWA has been associated with DMK Productions. And I don't think he's going to get it today, but the way things look right here. Not at all. He's going to go down again a loser. And I am going to go out again a winner. Matter of fact, I'm going to go out the ASWA Universal Champion. Yeah, later on tonight, we got the Battle of the Undefeated. Les Taylor versus the undefeated Universal Champion, the big ticket Marcus Scott. Listen, I'm right here. You don't have to talk like I'm not here. I'm right here. You can talk to me. I'm trying to watch the match in the ring, too. we got an outstanding contest here. Very outstanding. Jeff, Jeff is doing a great job. Jeff Cannon, he is doing a bang-up job right now. Just putting on a clinic right now. Well, Big Guns is on a three-match losing streak. Uh, That's all about technicalities. Now, the, the records do show that he's lost, but it's on a technicality. It's because of Jimmy Lee sticking his nose where it doesn't belong. Well, it's also because... Uh, the Hollywood star Johnny Paradise has lost all of his influence uh, in the outcome of Jeff Cannon's matches. That's very true, and that's very unfortunate. You know, I don't like the fact that Jimmy Lee and some of the other guys that now run this company have slimed their way into powers of, uh, of position, positions of power. Dang, look at that. Wow. Here we go. Oh, that was almost it right there. 
going back to what I was saying, I don't like how they've slimed their way into positions of power. It's not fair to us, the hardworking wrestlers that put our bodies on the line every day. That's just not fair, and there should, no wrestler should have that much power. Well, earlier, Jeff Cannon, I think he should have put his 280 pounds completely over the body of Takahashi. He tried to pin him with just a foot on a chest that might cost him later. Very, very astute point. Ooh, did you hear that chop, though? I don't think he's worried about losing this match. He seems pretty confident to me. Ooh, another big chop. He appears to be toying with Takahashi, but one buzzsaw kick and Jeff Cannon could be toast. Oh! Hey, he's okay. Look at everybody, he's okay. Nope, too quick. See, there's some, oh! See, there's some maneuverability that you think he doesn't have. Oh! Hey, Hank, I'm sorry, I think he's proven you wrong on the maneuverability. Well, the match isn't over until it's over, but uh, by the looks of things, Takahashi's uh, losing streak might uh, have one more notch on it. He's just too big and too strong for Takahashi, big gun Jeff Cannon. But Takahashi got that mobility, that's the one big thing he has in his favor. Yeah, he has mobility, but if he's, if he's hurt, he can't do anything. So, he can't, he's, Jeff's taking away the mobility right now, which is very smart. Uh-oh, what's he doing now? What's he doing? Oh! Big neck break. Oh, uh, it made worse by he draped his legs over the middle ropes. <laughs> Too close to the ropes, fortunately for Takahashi. Uh, Takahashi's taking the easy way out. He doesn't want to power out of this because I don't think he can. I think, honestly, he's beat. Jeff's got him beat, and he's taking the easy way out by grabbing the ropes. Well, it's smart because he'd expend more energy trying to throw a 280-pound man off him. He could just grab the rope, and the referee forces the break. Right, taking the easy way out. You're exactly right. Well, easy way is the smart way. He, he got to uh, save his energy. He's... Uh, moving around the weight of a, a lot larger man. Jeff, Jeff is definitely putting that weight to good use right now. Well, Big Guns Jeff Cannon is on the comeback trail. He got a three-match losing streak. He wants to move back in the contention for that ASWA heavyweight title he lost uh, a few months back. Uh -oh. what is this? He's trying to set up a crucifix takedown, but he doesn't have the weight to pull him back. Into the fireman's carry now with the strength of Jeff Cannon. Here's those kicks you were talking about. There's those kicks. He's got to work over the lower legs to get Jeff Cannon down to the mat. Oh! Come on, Jeff, kick out. Oh, he's not even going for a pen. See, this, this is the, the idiot right here. He's being, he's going for the, trying to get the fans' approval. He needs to get this pen. That's what he should have done. Well, I think Takahashi is so beaten down and exhausted it took uh, away everything he had left uh, just to do what he just did. Jeff Cannon looks like he's really woozy now. There's no Johnny Paradise to bail him out here. There goes Takahashi out to the apron. He's trying to, he's trying to get the strength to mount the ring post. Jeff Cannon is uh, staggering around in the center of the ring, a sitting duck for what Takahashi. Oh. Should have moved out of that one. That one's gonna cost him. A drop kick right into the puss. Running up the ring post. A slice bread. Slice bread number two. Could this be enough? And the losing streak of the American Gaijin Takahashi is finally over. That was two. That was only two. That was only two. It's still going. Jeff got his arm up. That was only two. It's still going. Referee Jack DeLong, I, he hit the bat three times, I believe, but he never did call for the bell. I, I spoke too soon. Hank, I feel your age is getting in the way. He only hit twice. He only hit his hand twice. Well, I got to watch a replay. I thought he hit three times. Now reversal. Now Jeff Cannon charging. Oh! He ran right into that boot. Setting up now for a tornado. No, not a tornado DDT. Uh, Trying for the Cape Rod, I believe. Uh, now he goes to look at the mobility of Takahashi. Sunset flip. Two. And. Uh, now that was three. I guess his losing streak is finally over. And, and he did it twice. In my opinion, Takahashi won two straight falls.
Well, Hank, I'd like to say it's been a pleasure, and I'm sure it has for you. But I got to go get ready for my match. All right, thank you, Sweet Dream Sliss Taylor. We'll see you later on.